bottom left hand side of the map our blue terran players we dive back into the kung fu cup this is our blue terran player in the bottom left hand side it is ty taking on our red protoss player in the top right hand side of the map from invictus gaming give it up if you're cheering on matt said Thank you so much, Heaton31, for the Prime sub for the three months. Welcome back. Thank you so much, guys, again. Apologies for it taking so long to get into this game. We wait, we literally just waited, like, 30 minutes, I think. But thanks for asking some interesting questions. So at least we could uh, talk about it and have a discussion and make it somewhat interesting instead of just sat here being like, doo -doo -doo, twiddle me thumbs, run some ads, because nothing to say. So, yeah, uh, TY taking... Uh, on max said he is ty gets the free win over firefly and then max said was afk expecting ty to have to play firefly still so yeah just a little bit of a miscommunication as to why this took so long to set up um so we're back on oxide first map of this series seems like people kind of like this map it's funny because this was the map i could not get people to play on if my life depended on it during the team liquid map contest tournament like people would just veto this instantly every single time um, and obviously, you're trying to get all the maps played. It's a little bit frustrating. So, Oxide didn't see a lot of love then, but honestly, it doesn't seem from the from the new map series. And I have cast a couple of new map series that I played before the new maps hit the ladder. People are not um, afraid to play this one. You know, people are not afraid to play this one. In fact, this one seems to be more popular than some of the others, which. I think it's pretty cool. He's going to get a pro kill here just before it gets back in the assimilator. Good start. And you see our Reaper going to escape away down the left-hand side. And just a little lag spike there as the probe jumps around. He's actually going to find that probe, but he ran past it. No A move. So he actually lets the probe go by. It might just be he wants to get back home ASAP to actually come and deal with this adept with the Reaper. Oh my god. This command center is literally about to do its animation to finish building. You don't even need an SCV. These things are about to fall off and it's completed. Oh my god. This SCV comes down. He like gives it a little tap. The building things fall off. He's like, well, that was the easiest job completion I ever did. Do I get a bonus for finishing the command center? The Marines and a Hellion coming down. Just going to push this Stalker and Adept around. The Adept coming through. Just gonna be seeing our Hellion is just gonna get the Adept right now, so able to take that down. The Hellion takes a lot of damage though. A couple new Marines pop out. Okay, a good micro from TY. He's gonna survive this. And he's gonna be okay. There's nothing else from Max that being rallied across the map at this stage, so nothing else on the way out. As you see, a Widow Mine production starting up, and I'll be seeing a Medivac to drop those across the map in the next few moments. Get away from Max Ed's about to finish up, and I'm yeah, just going to be seeing this Hellion to TY continues up the left hand side of the map. So, TY's Hellion going to be making its way around. Going up through the top as our third Nexus gets put into position. Hellion is going to go down, but I mean, you get to see the third base, which is obviously pretty good because it tells you. Oh my god, he didn't see it! Do you see the probe going there? Maybe. I can't believe he didn't actually see that, though. I feel like that's a scout that TY should have already. Okay, he's going to go one Widow Mine drop in the main. The other Widow Mine's going to run into the natural at the same time. A little bit of a combo. Oh, no. He's actually going to go and check the third base. No, he's going to turn into the natural. Oh, there's the drop. Widow Mine burrows up here as Max Ed deals with this. This is where the other Widow Mine can maybe do damage. Burrows up. Forces the Sentry Stalker back. Unburrows, reburrows. This probe will be the victim in the end. So four probes killed uh, all the way throughout this. Not so bad. Actually a pretty good setup for TY, all things considered. Again, four probes this early in the game. There's a hallucination across the map, and that will confirm three barracks as well. So, you know, from that, Max Ed can read into the fact there's no 3CC already. He knows that Stimpak and Combat Shield should be done before seven minutes. Uh, so he's going to have to be ready to deal with that, basically. Uh, very likely that we are going to be able to see a... Uh, like something like a charge coming in before those upgrades are done. And there is charge starting instantly. So, not uh, messing around with that as the stalker's actually going to go up this ramp. 
And you kind of want to run past the bunker to find some damage, but I mean, they really had to run up for quite a while there. Just going to be seeing five gates continuing to build up from Max Ed. Just going to be seeing our Observer on the way out, Tech Lab on the factory. Stimpak, Concussive Shells, Marines, Marauders, all of this producing as we have all of these gateways of Max Ed. Continuing to move on through. We've seen that forge, Robo Bay. All of this continues to set up as well right now. It's a lot of good build up here as we see the Medivacs getting themselves in arguably a little bit of trouble. Running into those stalkers over on this left hand side. That one stalker blinks out quite nicely. The bio gonna catch up and keep the stalkers moving away. Obviously, again, here's this timing where Stimpak's a battle complete, and Max said is very aware of this timing. He's actually going to go, if he goes right now, no charge, and I feel like that is obviously best case scenario in this exact moment. There's no combat shield on these Marines, but there is concussive shells on the Marauders, so they can slow anything they hit. There's a couple Zealots already heading around, trying to run into this natural, if reinforcements, I mean, they are just being rallied across the map. And we are going into a third CC behind this, with then the five racks after that, so we will go into three bases. As we just have one Marine lead in the front and just going to be seeing everything from Max Ed wanting to come through the middle, chasing. Blinks in, gets a Marine, Medivac taking a few shots. The Zealot from the bottom side is uh, picked off there pretty quickly as well. As our combat shield will be completing. Plus one attack upgrade going to be done and just going to be seeing our missile turret setting up on the edge. And yeah, the one one upgrade still from TY continuing to build up in the natural expansion, so... Continue to get that underway as our orbital command will be moving down to the third base. So yeah, we'll take that down. It's just going to see our bio units running over the right hand side. A few of these Zelds get picked off pretty much immediately here from TY. And meanwhile, the Zeld Stalker army on the left side going to start going for a bit of a charge forward as well. Well, these dogs going to get cleaned up, so... Okay, I mean, Max are getting a little bit aggressive. TY taking his time as he sets up into the Ghost Academy. Obviously, Ghost really... Once you hit three bases, going to the Ghost is really the, the big positive. It's the huge play. It's kind of cool that Ghost is just kind of the go-to no matter what nowadays as well. You know, obviously, you used to go for Vikings a lot, but Vikings have not been a, a big thing as much, uh... Let me see Max is continuing around. This is the center by units of the right. Just going to see a few of these zealots continue to chase. Way over on the right hand side, just gonna see the rest of these units from Max Ed setting up. Uh, the Ravens obviously got a huge role to play. Colossi Matrixes can change this game. There's one, he's gonna go for the second, right? Because this just nullifies all splash damage for the fight. Even gets an order turret out of this. Well, a couple of immortals will beef up this Protoss army, but they're now gonna start going down. And see why he didn't even drop the EMPs. What if he dropped the EMPs and those zealots melted so much more quickly? Fire unloading in the main base. Just gonna see a few of these ghosts being picked away at. I'm just gonna be seeing a couple of Vikings continuing out from TY here. So, a couple of Vikings continuing through in the back of this base. We got the double liberator set up, and now probes dropping over there. So, TY continuing to just deal a good amount of damage around the map. Having a pretty good time. Is gonna see these liberators getting picked up. And now these medevacs having to think as to where they might want to go. Plus two attack, plus two armor on the engineering base, plus one ship weapons coming in. The starboard's gonna move across the reactor as well, and just gonna be seeing the bio gonna make its way up here, and probably, I mean, will just find these stalkers. So, the stalkers gonna get picked away at right away. Shield battery goes down, all the stalkers being picked away at. A couple of zealots as well. That's a good little initial drop in 
Just moves in, gets a few trades. I mean, Max had surviving, though. So doing a decent job of this. Army gonna continue to charge forward. Zealots, Colossi. Continue to push into this. These Vikings are gonna go straight in for the prison. That's amazing. What a start. I shut down the reinforcements as Max had finally gets aggressive. Now you can't reinforce this at all. If we info our TY, it's a bit of a choked up spot, but he lifts the CC. He's gonna pull SCVs to help out. Force ones from Max had going down, and Max is actually gonna continue backing away up this left hand side. There's a lot of SCVs still going down. Did see I just die? These medevacs getting shut down as well, so no Bueno over on the right side. Fourth base. Well, he does drop here. The only reason Max had to lose this is because he couldn't reinforce, right? And, I mean, that's actually a pretty realistic reason he might lose this right now is... Uh, the units are so low, though. But the Vikings are just picking up three kills. There's two Colossi already dead now. A third one goes down. Puts this back to just a purely kind of gateway army, but there's just not that much bio here. Wow. Max had just won the game. It's kind of, honestly, like, maybe I was casting this with a little bit of TY bias, just expecting him to do well, but Maxa just kind of showed up and just kind of bopped TY with the straight-up fight. Wow. Good old Max said, picking up a map against TY to start us off here. Starting up in the bottom left-hand side, down a map, our blue Terran player. Let's see if he can fight back. This is TY. And Max said in the top right, he's honestly looked better in the last year than he has looked for a long time. Max said, I yellow Protoss from China. So, to me, so I just want to kind of point out kind of how I think what, what happened in that last game. I really think, first of all, I was casting with a little bit of a bias where I'm like, oh yeah, TY's dropping here, TY's dropping there. You know, TY, TY's probably just going to win it outright, like he's just doing the right things. But what happens is that Max said shows up with these three Colossi now. The Vikings are there, but TY decides he needs to take a fight with all the SCVs. I'm not necessarily sure that's true. Obviously, he just lost all of his SCVs. The bio army was in trouble. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. Like, I, I don't know if you really need to fight right then and there to protect that base. Especially when he kills the war prison, because then reinforcements can't come out. So what if you just... The problem is, if you back off, you're letting your third base take a lot of damage for free. And maybe losing the fourth as well. Yeah, he just wasn't quite... He wasn't quite at the Viking counts. Actually, I, I bring it back to you. Remember that fight on the top right side where he Matrix the Colossi? What if he actually did drop the EMPs there? Because we said he didn't really use his EMPs. But if he had, I actually think the game can end there. You EMP the Zealots and the Immortals. And all of a sudden, you cleave through those like twice as quickly. And next thing you know, like you're on top of the Colossi. They die before Matrix is done, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's, there's obviously a few ways to look at this entire game, but I think it's a bit of a... Um... Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was a bit of a... Um... A weird kind of thing. Because, I, I mean, I really think Max had just showed up with an army. He lost his potential reinforcements and was still able to win the fight massively. Maybe just a bad engagement from TY. I feel like I almost... See, I wanted to go back and rewind it and figure it out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't I couldn't go out into the replay because what if they start the game without me, right? I had to come out pretty quickly, but that's definitely one of those games where I think you could go back and you know pinpoint here, pinpoint there. A little bit easier to kind of know what to look at when you know what the outcome's gonna be, right? A little bit harder to pick up on that when you maybe being a bit of a TY fanboy and just expecting them to pick up the win, but I do think that was kind of the what majority of players were kind of thinking about initially. We're going to sit here on a bit of a patrol. Phoenix is coming up here from Maxed, already getting that going. We do have the Adept. On the way up to the top side, Reaper and a couple of Hellions. 
making their way out around the left hand side of this couple of extra hellions just about to be produced cloak starts banshee on the way and get started as the phoenix now just continue to chrono boost out of the stargate so stargate opener i mean the stargate the phoenix should be really good at defending these hellions come in just lift them up they get the kills nice and quickly Not super quickly apparently as three hellions yeah they didn't deal a good amount of damage we'll look at the workers killed in a second guys don't you worry as obviously the shield battery here does keep you pretty safe but nine probes going down the thing is as well, there's a lot of the Phoenix energy used to clean this up, especially if you lift this last uh, Hellion. So if you lift this last Hellion, you basically have no Phoenix energy to put to use across the map. So now you can't even harass your way against a few workers either until those Medivac, uh, until those Phoenix get energy again. Plus this Cloak Banshee is going to show up. Now, the big thing here is that obviously there are shield batteries, but they're lower on energy than they usually would be. He's actually going to reveal the Banshee here as he moves in initially. And uh, maybe time for these Phoenix to turn around. Obviously, an Oracle needs to start up. Get some detection going. Cloak is not going to be done. He actually cancels Cloak. See why I decide it's not a worthwhile investment. So, he cancels that. Cancels Banshee number two and just says, okay. Let's play into tanks and marines and just make this a lesser investment for something I think you're going to deal with pretty well. We get this. Uh, we get this game going with Max Ed making his way down to the bottom left side. Four of these Phoenix coming through. A couple of these barracks continuing up. But a mine shot. It's good onto the Phoenix as well. Just seen that Robo Bay from Max Ed dropping into the main base. So moving into the Robo Bay already. We see the plus one attack upgrade already starting on our engineering bay. We're gonna have Simpack getting going. Everything from TY joining up together and maybe wanting to make a play out to the center of the map here. down and mule is just going to be seeing a couple of extra medivacs on the way from ty waiting for this first real push right especially when you kill nine probes early because it means that first push of ty really will be powered up so excited to see what he can do with it going across the map and actually kind of excited to see what max can pull out of this as well can max pull out a defense can he turn around what was a bit of a rough start for himself and waiting for all these upgrades to be done before we can make a move as one of my shots softens things up it doesn't really kill anything right i mean that's the thing with little mines they don't one shot a phoenix so you kind of need a few shots oh, well, you need two shots in the same phoenix space to get the kill obviously it does take cold damage and right there the missile turret comes through big to get one of the phoenix kills catching some adepts out the front as, uh, out the front as well means that ty can now move across the map and you look at this ground army and i and i think the question is what ground army these zealots don't have charge there's a single Colossus. Uh, I don't... I, I'm not really a believer in the Phoenix being able to turn this around. So what the hell do you do to win this right now? The Phoenix can lift the tanks. So they do have a use, don't get me wrong. Second Colossus finishes up and maybe that's just the answer. Just having a second Colossus here. Tanks continue to push forward though, and that's gonna put a siege onto this natural expansion, so now you're in trouble. I like this, targeting down that shield battery. Make sure you don't have a super battery available down here. It does go a long way to helping out. He loses his vision for a moment, but he gets it back. So just pushing these tanks forward. I mean, the problem is these Colossi have to fight forward into these siege tanks, so the Phoenix must make the lift. And if the Phoenix get targeted down, the tanks get re sieged and retargeted on the Colossi going to be extremely problematic because he'll take down a new shield battery here. It wasn't even powered by a pylon. The pylon had died. Well, now we've got a few cells on the left side. The one good thing here is that Max said hasn't had to take a fight without charge yet, but 
We're not far from that happening. Now a lot of the Zelts are getting caught without charge. Now the Phoenix are going down, so you don't have an answer to the Siege tanks. And I think Max had might have just lost this game number two. Here we go. He's going to move in. As soon as charge is done, he makes his play. And the Zelts are going down on the left side so early on. The tanks just take care of the Colossi. It wasn't even a question. That's the thing, right? Like, at the moment that these tanks are not able to be lifted, there's just no way to protect the Colossi. That must fight into them. Which means the tanks just get to target by them, and, you know, then TY doesn't have to pay any attention at all. Tanks will just get the job done. GG and TY ties us up one-to-one. -one. Bringing us straight into game number three in the bottom right-hand side. Tying it up, our blue Terran player is TY. Against the red Protoss top left. It is Max Zed from Invictus Gaming. TY is going to engineer and bay block it up for game number three. So he's going to NG bay block and try and take an advantage off this early. We'll see how that works out very quickly as the game just got started. Thank you so much to I am Real Potato for the Prime sub. Well, thank goodness for that. I was. I am glad we found the real potato instead of the fake potato, is all I'm saying, guys. That's all I'm saying. Game number three, as we set on up. We do have an SCV over the left-hand side. A little look to see what's going on on the left as we have our engineering bay. Going to cancel in the end, realizing that there is the expansion here. So he says, right, well, I'll take those minerals back and I'll make them make use of them. Get that expansion going, perhaps, on that low ground in a moment or two. Again, this is the whole idea behind the engineering bay block. You just go for a factory before you expand. That gives you some options early on and obviously then it doesn't matter so much you know basically like you, you engineer a block but it doesn't affect your own command center timing because you're delaying your command center anyway because you want to go factory first or because the command center is delayed you go factory first but that's still okay like that's still a viable way to play it so that's why this engineering bay has been a bit of a thing lately because people have really figured this out and it's true it really does work Going to be seeing our two Hellions of TY moving out onto the map. A probe hanging out over on the right-hand side, an SCV up to the top, and just going to be seeing our two Stalkers hanging out on the third base as well. So continue to set up over there. Another Stalker pops out of this gateway and just going to be seeing everything setting up. Command center into the natural, the Marine of TY going to come across, and he's actually going to find this probe, which is a good catch. Okay, he does notice it on the mini-map and he comes back to you actually clean this up so just getting rid of that two more gates from max head it may very well be that he feels a bit afraid of being on this base so by going two gates initially it gives him more units and that obviously makes the defense over here or a split defense between the two bases a little bit easier now obviously it comes at the cost of delaying his tech structure so he hasn't made a tech choice just yet as the hellions come up uh, let's go a wall on the ramp it's good to turn them around, but then they go to the third base, and that's one of these examples where you kind of just need more units, right? So to the third base we go. A couple probes already dropping, and TY. I think he's pretty content with this. He's even going to try and get the Hellions out of there. Keeps two alive to use again, keep his map control. Now, Max has set up a pylon. Obviously, seeing the Hellions as well, especially, says you maybe don't have that much defensively in this game, especially considering I have three gates of units. So we'll see what Max can do on the counterattack. TY is going to find, he's going to find the warp in, and he's actually going to bring the medevac back home because those widow mines are kind of guaranteed kills. Okay, he actually does relocate the medevac back across the map. That, that also can work, right, if you enough mining here. Yeah, okay. I'm, 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 I don't mind that. Because obviously, though, the widow mines, he's already got two of them, so I guess he just feels that's enough to stop Max Ed from attacking him because there's no good way to deal with these widow mines. Like, there's no blink, there's no warp prism. There's no way to avoid the mine shot, so you're just giving up a unit every single time they fire. Because Widow Mine Shot goes into the assimilator, that's no good. But look at this lost mining time being forced as the probes, all of these, 15 of them, just pulled away off to the side. Gonna unburrow, reburrow one more time. Hellions are diving around on the third base. Finally, some stalkers show up. He gets one probe in this main, and the probes get back to mine. So the denied mining, that is the real damage done here more than anything else. And that's why he settles for one probe, loses the widow mine, but so much mining denied is obviously a huge, huge deal. 
a huge, huge deal. Marines in town getting that pile on as we see Stalkers. We'll move up the left hand side. Just going to see our Robo Bay, our Forge, continue to build up. Mine gets behind the mineral line and it'll just be a probe. He's switching between targets though, just to keep mining stopped for as long as possible. And again, it's another little while where we see Max said able to, uh, not able to mine properly and TY able to make, make that denial happen. Widow mine makes its way up the left side here from TY, so. Bring this up the left, just gonna go into that third base. I mean, I like it, just trying to keep the pressure up. The Stalker's in position this time. And Max is making his bid toward the Colossi now. Back at home, TY. I haven't really checked in over here for a while, but again, it's that three racks into third CC, and probably extra racks, of course, as well. We'll have the stim pack and uh, so on coming up fairly soon. I mean, actually, I look at it, and it's gonna be, what, like 7.30 in the game when he gets the stim pack, but that's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, he's obviously put a lot of pressure on earlier with mines, etc. too, so I think he's all right. It's very similar to, to some of the one of the pushes we saw earlier as well. So uh, we'll see if he can do anything going across the map. I don't think he has so much damage in this early game that Max said should just die. Eight probes at a big cost, right? At the cost of Hellions and mines. And a fair amount of attention paid. So the, the biggest thing really is the income, but we don't actually have Ingram graphs enabled because these two never host on game hard, so... Without income graphs, it's almost impossible to really say what exactly is up, you know? Stalkers will continue to hang out in the center of Iowa Army. Moving around just a little bit. Maxed has the Stalkers. Back to the right side here as well. A couple medivacs from TY going to go up through the top of the map. And I like the drop. Triple drop as well. The Raven is supported. So it's a lot of units. And he's also going to hit the left side at the same time. So he's going to make his way into this third location. And well, right now, Maxed has a bunch of stalkers that are only just finally catching a couple of reinforcements. TY actually brings his units back home. Wanting to protect his own third position. Saying, well, are you in position at all to deal with this attack in the main? Remember, the Raven is here as well, so if a Colossus comes in defensively, it's getting matrixed. I think that might just be part of the concern, as this Nexus probably going to die. Two Colossi showing up. Yeah, double matrix. Absolutely no problem. Now he's going to chase the Colossi down. He's absolutely going to get one of them, right? Unit show up. Oh my god, it just doesn't go down. Nice save from uh, Maxed, but at the cost of what? He's already lost his main base, right? I mean, this has already been extremely expensive, more than he ever would have hoped for. Now units are going to show up on the third base. That's the only pylon. Probably could have just gone for the pylon, but he goes for the straight-up kill on the units as well, which I guess is going to come out of cost. GG is called. TY just looks a little bit good in game three. TY actually is looking really good in game two and game number three, but that game number one, it kind of just slipped away from him. Like I said, takes the map, but TY takes the series, and TY goes to the semi-finals.